I just think I've probably got a little bit too arty. It's hard to wear. Um, I mean, this particular game, especially. We're talking about looking at trying to control that aspect of basically pushing too far. But also, what is comfortable. Looking at what is comfortable and then really is it comfortable because we're used to losing from that position not comfortable because we get advantages in that position or well, it's comfortable because we're just used to seeing it and that is it and there's nothing no advantage no disadvantage it's just that we're familiar with the line so we just keep on following that pathway and come what may the result so we push through the center here feeling okay in this uh, situation but then pushing forward, feeling there's advantage, small piece attacking the higher piece, feeling half decently good, and then attacking the pawn here. I um, felt good about this pawn move, but it did drop quite a few there, didn't it? Drop minus two, woo, okay. And then they castled, but then they castled into a problem area. So at this point here, we've got an advantage, as, as far as I was aware, in the game, at that moment in time. So then they moved the king and we castled, so we're feeling safe. So I don't think I had any issues here. Brought the knight up, so that then was looking at this beautiful position. You know, looking for the fork type situation. So that was okay, so then they moved their queen. We developed our knight because again we're attacking a key square looking for the fork. So where did this seem to roll downhill? Ah, uh, it was this knight move, wasn't it? <clears throat> Excuse me. Was this knight move? I was subsequent because the whole basis was the fact that this knight was covering this square so the queen couldn't get out but now that the knight had moved it gave the king and queen some space he, ooh, ouch he does not like that yeah we deliberated about that we did think it was probably wrong because the queen was going to escape we should have stuck with what we were thinking at that moment in time that was fool's gold the only benefit to doing that move was with having the knight there and we should have stuck with our guns that was fool's gold you see the massive drop there that's huge look at that oh ah when will we learn but we learn by doing these things it just looks so obvious that it's a nice position but it was winning because the queen was jammed in and we knew it and we just carried on doing it anyway yeah so that's bad form right so what should have been done then bishop g5 it's saying what's this g5 business I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Okay, so Bishop G5. Could there not be anything else? Um, ch -ch -ch -ch, queen supporting the bishop. Because he's got a 2 on 1, you see, with his knight there. So we could bring that queen supporting. Mm, can't go there. Bishop or the Queen supporting or the Rook. Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, so there were better moves than what we did. Yeah, oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. Uh, yak, yak. Yeah, that was the catalyst. Damn. Yeah, so there's always one move that starts the whole thing off and that was that. So from that point on we're trying to scrabble around and trying to find our feet. So that was the main thing. Just uh, believe in your own calculation. 
and just keep it real simple and don't doubt it and then for that position there it's like going oh but I'm, I could still potentially get the rook and I'm going to be you know a minor uh, you know I'm going to be up the exchange so what what can be wrong with that positionally it's not good um, yes you're going to get the rook off the ball but then you you're going to be scrabbling around for a better position yeah this is this is not good yeah up the exchange but eesh. oh and that's not good at all yeah i was gonna i'm trapping my queen oh swinging to the other side of the board as well oh it's awful oh look how much work the queen's doing i know it's showing advantages in the thing but damn no 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 i haven't got the bishop out rooks aren't in the game so I, yeah and at that point now i needed to try and get that queen off the board i mean they didn't have to exchange they could have done anything else but they took and they've got slightest of advantages and we just want to get their rook off the board and they Obliged, so at this point we're thinking just squeeze through and maybe get a few pawns off and then we started to gain a bit of an advantage towards the end so I think our end game practice is paying off even from these ugly looking positions that we put ourselves in we don't have to go through that pain that's the thing and the thing is we know it and we talk it we verbalize it but yet we still end up doing it because we think we're winning better material but it's not improving our position that is one of those key ones there it's like oh but i'm winning a rook no gotta be careful good game